Anchor Box Clips. So let's talk about this play from over here because this is the advanced level stop strategy in motion, right? So I had my initial initial thinking. Cool, we come up here. Now this ended up calling the high. That was the pivot point and we dropped, right? However, um, as Mike Schwartz has even pointed out, yeah, he didn't set your alert. I know, me too. And this is oh, this is my fault. Again, I, I feel, feel bad because like, again, I should be leading that as well. On those news, I can't just play, oh yeah, there's news coming. No, you literally got to set the alarm because you will, you'll get lost in what we're doing. We're focused on our trades. Um, so here's a play. I'm thinking right here. Oh, let's let's go into my cherry picker. I got I got the little cherry picker thing. Let's try to use it. Zoom in here, and I'm going to use Control Four. To zoom even farther. All right, so I get this. Oh no, let's uh, Control Four. Get out of that. Okay. So we have our play coming in right here, and I get my measurement. Here's the pivot, prior pivot. So I'm going to get my measurement from here to here. Okay, that's gonna give me my fib projection out. My main thing, my main visual goal objective is that gold line right out there. Now I can tell right here, this is a very interesting leg. Very, very prominent, solid leg up. Looks like it could be one of those fake legs. So I already kind of know that could be dangerous. However, it doesn't matter. Play it out like we play it, follow the rules. So I am expecting, I'm trying to go for a target all the way out here. Now I've got two additional targets. I got one here, I got one here, okay? So we know this, I tag into the play first, okay? Starts to drop in on me, kind of slow. I'm like, okay, I can add in a little bit right here to work on my position and try to get me T1. I'll take some off there and then, and then. However, when it takes a deeper drop right here, that's too deep of a drop. You've got to be able to recognize when you are in. If you're in right here, okay? And that play didn't kind of stay up like this and start moving for you, you're already looking to what? I want to, you'll hear me say these words, fail on position. Okay. So you hear me say, oh, I want to bail on my position. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Well, number one thing is as soon as you feel this, you should not be trying to make money. First thing, step one is not trying to make money. We are trying to mitigate the loss and minimize okay i want to minimize the loss i'm already expecting nope as soon as that comes down that far i'm like nope i'm getting a loss here okay i am not trying to hold this back to my point of entry so my point of entry will be sitting right here okay as it was actually a little bit deeper than that it was more like right here because i was adding to my position okay but i can tell when that starts coming down that far i'm not happy about this position so the important part about a my advanced levels stop strategy. Okay, remember I'm trying to get six or eight tick stops. Okay, so now mind you, when I'm right here, pretend like you can't see this. Okay, like all you see is this red leg. It's gone straight through too far. Okay, I add in right there my last spot that I add. I always tell you guys I can add it in one spot on a red to blue shift. Right, you see the red to blue shift right there. Okay. Red to blue, there is your Dr. Seuss entry right there, okay? So I can add in right there, only spot I can add, last spot to try to mitigate this loss, okay? I can add in right there, which means that anything up, there's a slight profit on whatever, um, whatever contracts I got in right here, right? Pops up, but I am not looking to hold that back to what? You guys who watch my advanced level stop strategy video, I am not trying to hold it back to my point of entry. This is the biggest mistake. Most people lose the majority of their money trying to hold a position back to the point of entry. Be like, oh, just get back to my point of entry and all close out. Oh, just get back to my point of entry. Oh, just get back to Don't. Expect that you're not gonna get there. Expect that if you're wrong, that you're big wrong, okay? If you're wrong, don't stay in a play like that. On an advanced level stop strategy, you are simply trying to take a smaller loss. That's it, okay? Looking to bail on that position. And now, you can do one of two things. You can either close it as it pops up and the first red bar, I've got a bail right there. First set of red bars, I now have to bail. That's it, that's your, that's your last, that is your, what I call the last sign of hope that you're gonna succeed in that trade. Once you've reached that scenario where you're like, oh, shibits, like, this is your last chance. It's like, I'm giving you one last chance. You better get out right now. Last chance before your wreckage. 
This happens all the time, folks. If you, if you hear what I am trying to tell you, that so many times, if you're trying to fight a position back to your point of entry, I am telling you, in about two or three ticks, you're like, oh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. It, it, come on, raise your hand. You know what I'm talking about. How many of you have been there? Like right before it's about to get to your point of entry, oh, it's almost there, it's almost, uh, bleh, and it goes back the other way, okay? Think about that. Encrest that into your mind. Like, harden it, concrete it in, remember that, right? And then ask yourself, well, what can I do about that? What can I do? Well, there's two things. You can close out the position right there, take your small loss, or you can get crazy. And if you've got size in your account, you must have size in your account because if you don't have size in your account, you're not gonna be able to press the reverse button because it actually doubles your entry order. Whatever your current entry order is, it doubles it in order to reverse the other direction. You have to have that amount of margin in your system to be able to do this. So be careful on the reverse. And it is something you must practice. You've got to practice this because you've got to be quick on the buttons. Go back and roll back the tape and watch how fast I had to execute that. Boom, punch the reverse back in the direction. So yes, now I'm expecting I take a loss. Now I'm going to reverse. Now through that, I am still not trying to make money. I am still not trying to make money. I'm going to repeat this one more time. I am still not trying to make money. I am simply trying to mitigate the loss. Now on occasion, like what it was today. Yeah, I got this big leg down and out. That's not normal. That ended up just handing me cash. But as I get the first set of blue bars back the other way, I'm taking off my position. I know that's advanced level. That's why I'm saying go back and play that part of the tape. See it again. As soon as I see the, this is the Dr. Seuss entries and Dr. Seuss exits right there. Okay. You need to exit the position and whatever you're stuck with, that's your points. Okay. Like that's it. You're done. All right. Points on the board in, out, done. Okay. Go on to the next play. Okay. And remember, this is a game. We're playing it like a video game. We're approaching the markets like a video game. Play it like a video game. Get good at these mechanics in, out, done. Any questions around that? Let me come over here and see if I miss any questions. The lucky was able to avoid that news crush. Thanks to this group. Yeah, awesome, Jason. Great to hear it. Yeah, some of us missed it. Me and Mike missed it. You add and you get off near your entry. What about the two try rule? So at that point, the two try rule, that's a good question. The two try rule is off the table. Like I'm not even thinking about it. If it went down that far, okay, if it did that, no, not, not even interested, not even interested except in the case of a DCDM. On a double cross, double move, I might, but I would say in general, just don't. Even forget what I just said about the DCDM exception to the list, uh, of, of that list, okay? On a DCDM, I will draw a white line like this, okay? And if I break back through, I might take it. But look, if I had done that before, let's say that that was a DCDM. In this case, this is what ends up happening, right? You come back to it, touch, and nope, nope, not gonna happen, okay? Most of the time, if you're ever what I call stuck in a position, you will literally, if you want to write this down, you will literally only get one chance to exit with your life. This is what I'm saying. You will only be allowed one opportunity to get out with your life. And what I mean by that is if you're in a scenario where you're in a smaller account or larger account, it can be bad. But you, these are account blowout scenarios for people who try to hold that position back to the point of entry. Ask many people who've blown their accounts. This is exactly how they'll blow them, okay? How many times, if they actually had recorded themselves, which by the way, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, I have said this, Lance has said this. I showed you guys that video last weekend on doing the interview with Lance B. If y'all haven't seen that video, you need to go see it. He's a pro trader. He's got way more awards than I have. I've won four trading competitions. I didn't get any tro trophies for him. This guy's got more trophies than I got lamps in my office. The, the guy has nailed it. And he is saying, record your trades, simply record. Just press record okay, on video. We are in the age of technology now. You install OBS, it's free. Record your screen, okay? Go back, play it back again so you can see what you do, see what you've done. But if you were to have recorded those days where those blowouts happened to you, I bet you there was a moment where you had one shot to get out of that position. You got one big leg. You're sitting there and you're like sweating out some trade. You're you're in a you're in a long position, okay? Uh, here's your point of entry. You got to end up way up here. Okay, price is all of a sudden kind of went up for you a little bit, and then da, 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 and you're trying to get your way out of this position, and you're sitting down here like, holy crap, holy crap, I'm toast, I'm toast. Okay, but all of a sudden the market goes wham, ba, ba, wham. Oops, um, I need to switch screens. Pop like this. Okay, all of a sudden market comes up like this. Wham. Here's your point of entry sitting right up here, right? And you're like, oh, 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 thank you, Lord. Oh, it's gonna get back to my point of entry. It's gonna get there, it's gonna get there. It gave you one shot. Remember this, it gave you one chance to get out. One chance. 
but you didn't do it. You were like, nope, I'm gonna hold that all the way back to entry. I'm not gonna take a loss at all. Listen, you already had the loss. If you refuse to lose, listen, you are a refuse to lose person. You refuse to lose, I promise you. You will guarantee, forget to lose, you will lose everything. That's what I just said right there. Let it sink in for a moment because you will get one shot. You get one shot to exit with your life. You'll still have a loss, but you'll get away with it, right? Then this sucker is going to go like this. And you are now toast, okay? This is the end of you. You understand? Red. Okay? You don't want this. You're going to get one shot. So I recommend two things. You either press the close button right here or right here. Any opportunity where the thing pushes back up. The ideal is as this happens... You might add in right here. You exit right here. Take your loss. Your loss is this. Okay, I'm fine with that. You should be fine with that. This is fine. This is okay. This is not. Got me? You're gonna get one shot to exit. So you either press close or if you've got an account size, press the reverse button. Or you can press close and if you're really fast, you can enter in the other direction. Close and then short, okay? but you need to make sure you know what's happening in there, okay? Be very careful on this. Again, very, very advanced level players, people who have platinum accounts, size in their accounts. Don't do this. I would rather you just take the loss right here, reset, look for another position. Got me? Have I stressed this enough? I hope. I want you guys to succeed, and I'm telling you, this is a voice of experience telling you, <laughs> with trade after trade in my career, having seen this, I finally just wrote down what I was going to do at some point. I was like, this happens. I am literally going to reverse my trade. As the position pops up, I always get a breath. Somewhere in there, I'll get half my loss back, right? And then boom, if I had, I'm like, man, if I had just closed the position or man, if I had just pressed reverse, right? So eventually I just chant that to myself for a little bit. You only have to chant it to yourself for five minutes. I'm telling you, like sit down, close your eyes, chant it to yourself and say, I'm going to reverse my position. I've only got one shot to get out. One shot, I'm gonna get one shot to get out. I've got to close or reverse. I've only got one shot, I've got to close or reverse. I've only got one shot, I've got to close or reverse. I've only got one shot. It's only gonna give me one chance to get out. If I do not get out at that one moment, I'm getting one chance of grace and then I'll never have it again. I may never get this chance of grace ever again. I better close it out right now. In the same way with your life, folks, you are not guaranteed tomorrow. And I will tell you that you might need to ask Jesus Christ for forgiveness and ask him to come into your heart because you may only get this one chance today. If you're sitting here on my live stream today, one chance, it's this Friday, you may die this weekend. And what if you only had one chance to go, you know what, what was Vinny saying? Oh, he was saying, if I want life eternal and I don't want to be eternal in hell, because I'll tell you, everybody's got eternal life. Everybody's got eternal life. But somebody and some people are going to be in hell and some people are going to be in heaven, in paradise. What is it going to be? You may only have one chance before you die. You may only get one chance before you wipe your account to press the button. Are you going to press the button? I would suggest you do. That is my imploring to you to do it. Press the button as we celebrate the season of the king coming to earth and saving you, your crazy ass and mine. He's perfect, I'm not. All you people who say, many of you, you don't act like a Christian. God ain't looking for actors, I don't act. Christ is Christ. I am Vinny. I am trying to do what he told me to do. And guess what? Jesus Christ offended a lot of people. That's why they killed him. I'll just pause that for a moment. Vinny, you don't act like Christ. Oh, really? Are you sure about that? Y'all hate me. You want to kill me? All these little scammers and whatnot. Oh, you want to kill? Oh, right. oh, you really? Actually, I am like Christ. How many of you are, are wanting to, uh, who, who wants to kill you besides Satan? Okay. Anybody? Who are you offending with your faith? You're not offending anybody with your faith, then actually I will reverse it to you. Maybe you're not acting like Christ because Christ's message was so offensive to people that they had to crucify him. They're like, silence this man. He must be shut up. You get me? All right, I'm gonna get off my preach now. I'm telling you though, this might be your one shot. All right, I love you guys. Come on now, happy Friday, let's go. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn.